Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video and share the content. Today's video subject, should I trim my cat's fur in the summer? Before you consider trimming your cat's fur for the summer, let's first talk about the importance of feline fur, the purpose of fur. While it's pretty much a given that fur, thick or short, helps a cat stay warm, especially during the cold winter months, fur also acts like a shield in many regards, a line of defense, protecting the actual skin from harm, and harm can come in many, many forms. Physical injury, as in cuts and abrasions during an altercation with another animal, perhaps another cat. Protection against careless and aggressive behaviors, as in running in the yard and through wooded areas. Fur can act as a buffer between the skin and those pesky sticker bushes. And of course, fur can protect the skin against the elements. Not just the cold, but also that intense heat. A proper layer of fur can guard against the threat of sunburn and the potential long-lasting impact of significant skin damage. This is why the idea of trimming fur in the summer is not as simple as it would seem on the surface. It's not like one of us getting a simple haircut. Unlike cats, our hair doesn't act as a layer of defense and protection against the cold and the heat. I mean, it's not like we're Michael J. Fox in Teen Wolf. Even the longest hair won't really do too much in terms of covering the entire body. This is why you should be very careful when it comes to giving your cat a trim. You never want to remove too much of your feline's fur protection. In addition to what your cat does when it comes to their very own self-care, you also have a responsibility to help your cat look and feel their very best. This is especially true if you're caring for a senior feline, and those basics are no longer so basic, older cats can look very unkempt in a very short period of time due to the fact they're no longer able to groom themselves in a proper manner, largely due to stiff and achy joints. When it comes to today's topic question, any type of fur trimming should never be done based on weather alone. If you are planning to give your cat a trim simply because the summer months have arrived, you might want to reconsider, especially if your cat is an indoor pet. With plenty of fresh water and cool places to relax, overheating regardless of fur length shouldn't be a concern. When it comes to outdoor felines, there is still a lot of concern when it comes to a detailed trim. Sure, your cat will be cooler, but an extra layer of defense has now been removed. The risk for sunburn and other skin injuries has now increased. Is that trade-off really worth it? Probably not, as you should never let your cat outside, regardless of fur length, if the temperature is well into the 90s Fahrenheit. Rather than trimming, the real answer is overall grooming. If you want to help your cat stay cool during the summer, use a comb, brush, or fur glove and remove loose fur. Keep your cat free of fur debris. This alone can make your cat more comfortable. And if you do need to trim, especially if fur tangles are involved and a comb just will not work, make sure that your cat still has more than an inch of fur within that given area for protection. If you can see your cat's skin, you've cut too much. And before we close, you don't have to be a solo act when it comes to these efforts. If you want your cat to live its very best life during the summer months, take your cat to a professional so they can receive the full grooming treatment your pet will feel better and look better without having fur potentially compromised in a dangerous way. Cats wear a coat they can't take off. 
and while it can be in our nature to want to relieve our pet of that coat when those temperatures do rise, be mindful of the consequences. That fur is more than just for looks. It's for protection, and your cat needs it as a defense. Now it is story time. So, does your cat get the royal treatment from time to time from you? Do you groom your pet or do you take your cat to the barber shop? <laughs> and have there been emergency situations where you just had to trim your cat's fur yourself? Please let me know in the comment section below. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.